Hello, Cancers. I'm going to look into what your person is thinking, feeling, wanting, what action they might be taking towards you over the next couple weeks or so. Um, I know the last reading I did for you guys, I was getting that someone just did not realize how lonely and boring life would be without you. It's just like a grass wasn't greener on the other side of the fence type of deal with this person. So let's see what's going on now. I know a lot of exes are coming back um, for the people I've been channeling uh, on this channel for um, Mercury Retrograde, which is coming up in just a little bit in January. So wouldn't be surprised if that comes through the cards, but let's see. Can I get two cards here to clarify what this reading is going to be about? Primal, connecting deep within sacred dance instinct. Rebellion, upstart, tumult re revolution. Hmm. So it's like a very raw, passionate energy. It's like just raw emotion. This this could be with your person. Maybe they've been kind of logical about everything, and now with the threat of losing you, they're starting to get to this point where they're um, tuning into their emotions more. And I also kind of just see it as, you know, this could be you stepping into your own power. You know, you're not just... Explain that. You're not just like letting things be anymore. You're changing what needs to be changed in your life. Maybe you've just made some New Year's resolutions. You're stepping into your power more. I see this as somebody who like maybe was, you know, trying to think positive, trying to hold on. And now you're saying enough is enough. It's like you're you're reclaiming this primal, sacred sort of energy, like this deep, like who you are on a soul level. You're just kind of letting things um, flow more naturally now, you know? You're, you're just, you're reclaiming your power. It's like this, this rebirth sort of process, it looks like. But again, that could be for your personal life. It could just be that you're finally like stepping up and saying enough is enough. I'm gonna make the world my oyster. I'm gonna, I'm not gonna just think positive all the time and just, sugarcoat everything. I'm, I'm gonna let things be raw and messy and emotional and, um, you know, I'm gonna be more real. It's like you're making a commitment to be more authentic. Um, and I, I could also take that, you know, for some of you, that's your person that's making that commitment, that they've been logical. They've been trying to sweep this connection under the rug and they're making this commitment that they just can't really um, do that anymore, that they, they know that they want you in their life. Overthinking, overanalyzing, self-sabotage, sex and seduction, stagnation and complacency, passion and romance, publicity, social media, X in the past. It's like some stalking energy here too because I see that, see the X is like looking at the, the social media. So I kind of see that as somebody watching you. Risk, reward, bold gesture, choosing love over fear. End of a pattern or cycle, breakthrough, freedom, soulmate, soul contract. I'm looking at these cards and I kind of take it, I feel like maybe you are more raw and passionate and emotional than your partner was. This could be like an ex, could be someone you had a fling with, whatever the situation is. But I feel like they're coming out of this stagnant energy. It's like they, maybe they broke up with you and they tried to be logical about it. Like it's it's best if we go our separate ways or we're not compatible or, you know, I have, I'm moving away or I, I have to focus on my career right now or I have, you know, yada, yada, yada. And I think this person is finally starting to give into their heart. Um, I think this is someone who... Is just overly logical. They get stuck in their head. They overthink. They overanalyze. They self-sabotage. It's like when they have love, they come up with excuses as to why they're just, why it's the wrong timing, why they're just not quite ready for love. You know, and no one's ever ready for love. Like nobody's ever ready for major life changes. It's just part of life. You just go with it as it comes, you know? And I think they're realizing that. And I think that they're bored and they've been stagnant. I think they're they're tired of their own crap. 
they're tired of being logical and being guarded and being defensive and, you know, just survival. It's like, I feel like somebody who, I mean, there's the energy, I don't know if they do work a lot, but it's kind of like that same energy of someone who has like a, a boring nine to five job that they've had the, the same job for the last five years. And, you know, it's just the same old, same old routine. They have their, their nightly routine, go to bed at 9 p.m. And, and wake up and go to work. And it's just, you know, same old, same old. I'm not saying it's the exact same story, but it's just, it's that energy. You know what I mean? It's just someone who is is logical and, and stagnant and stuck in their routine and kind of controlling about their, their view of the world. Like they just, they, you know, feel like they just know how the world is. They... They need to put things in little easy to understand boxes. Um, and it's like you were completely outside of that. You were just, you know, raw and passionate and chaotic and they were not used to that energy. Um, but I feel like they're, they're bored with themselves. They're bored with their lives. They're bored with just being in survival mode all the time. They're bored with the routine and the familiarity and they want something new. And I think some of them are thinking, for those of you that have had sex with this person, I feel like they're thinking about what it was like in bed with you, or they're thinking about what it would be like to have sex with you. And I also just see this as like a seductive, like they're being seduced by passion, by romance, by love. You know, because look at this energy. This is sex and seduction. And then we have stagnation and complacency here. But this, this energy, you see how he or she is just looking right past the stagnation and they're looking towards the passion and the romance. Like they're ignoring this energy. It's like they're rising above their own stagnation and complacency and their own, you know, sabotage, self-sabotaging behaviors and overanalyzing and overthinking. Like they're rising above that. They're giving into their heart. They're giving into passion and romance and emotion and, and sexuality too. You know, they, they realize they're getting older and they want to have fun. It's like, I feel like this person's life is just so boring and it's so repetitive and so stagnant. And this person is just realizing like they want to live, they want to have fun, they want to have new experiences, they want to open their mind a little bit more. And you really, you, you push them to do that, you push them out of their comfort zone, you push them to open their mind. And I feel like this person's probably stalking you on social media because we have X the past here and this energy is kind of like looking towards, it's like he or she is looking towards the publicity or social media card, but like they're pretending like they're not. It's like someone who kind of spies and then looks away when they catch you looking back at them. It's that kind of energy here. It's like they're spying on you, but maybe they're not liking your post all that often or they're kind of, you know, looking at your pictures, but they're pretending like they're not or they're pretend, you know, maybe not responding to your messages right away if you guys are talking, even though they're actually online at the same time looking at your post. They're just pretending like they're not. <laughs> But we have um, bold gesture, choosing love over fear, risk, reward. So this is someone who, yeah, they are finally giving into their heart. They're, they're finally giving into this love. Um, again, they've just, they're so bored with their lives. They're so stagnant and they need that passion, that chaos in their life. I think at first it kind of freaked them out because it was just so out of their comfort zone. Like they didn't understand you. They didn't know what to make of the connection. It was like it wasn't, they couldn't just fit it into this little easy to understand box and that scared them. But now they're realizing that that's the exact energy that they need in their life. Otherwise, they're going to be 50, 60, 70 years old and they're not going to have traveled. They're not going to have had all these new experiences that they know that they could have with you. Um, so they're choosing love. They're finally choosing love. It looks like they're trying to end a pattern or cycle. They're, they want this breakthrough, freedom. I feel like this is someone who's just like stuck in their own head and they're just stagnant and they're just so like numb to the world and so unhappy and everything's just so repetitive. Just there's just this strong energy of routine with this person, like just same old, same old nine to five job, bedtime routine, wake up, take a shower, brush your teeth, go to work, do it all again the next day. It's just like a Someone who doesn't get to go out and have fun a lot is what I feel from this. Or someone who doesn't, I don't know, like they're just, they're shelt like sheltered or just alone. Like they're alone on a deep level. Is, I hope that makes sense. But they're wanting freedom, you know? It's like there's so much I think that they want to say to you. Like they want to be so vulnerable and so open and it's like they're just numb. 
And I think that maybe a new location is necessary for these people too. It's like if you, I mean, if you're just in this, if you've been working the same job for years or you're just like living in the same apartment or house for years and you never travel, you never go new places, you never meet new people, you never go on vacation, you become numb and stagnant. And I think that's the problem with this person. It's like they're so used to that routine and they, they want to break out of it, but they don't even know how to break out of it. And hmm. so it's like I see them like they want to be emotional with you. They want to be vulnerable. It's just they're so used to, you know, the way things have been. But they're, they want it. They do. The desire is there to break this pattern. It's almost like someone has like gotten used to being alone too. So it's like they're used to just stalking you on social media. They're used to not having a girlfriend or not having a boyfriend. Um, you know, they're, they're just, they're used to that loneliness. And so it's like, it doesn't hit them like, Hey, I should message this person. I should do something. I should, you know what I mean? It's like, they need to break this pattern, but they do want to, the desire is there. Um, it could be like a soul contract or something too, maybe even past life trauma. There's something that some, just some kind of pattern that they have could be like from childhood, but just something that they need to break so that they can finally be free and then they can finally like reclaim themselves. It's like, they're like a zombie right now. Can you give me a few cards to clarify what this person might be doing towards you? Truth and clarity. Ooh, that's good. Open, honest communication message. So they're wanting to message finally. They're wanting to message with, a tr with truth. They're wanting to, um, Maybe tell you the truth about why they've been distant, which is probably, I think you probably took it personally and maybe it's just, it's their own issues. It's not you, it's them. And I guess they're realizing that they have to choose a path, that they need to be open and honest and raw and, and truthful and real with you. I think that they're realizing that you're not going to settle for average. You're not going to settle for like a boring, normal relationship. You know, like you are going to push them out of their comfort zone. You're going to push them to quit the toxic job that they've been stuck in. You're going to push them to to move to the new to a new country they want to move to or to go on a vacation, to stand up to their toxic family, you know, that kind of thing. They know that they're going to have that kind of relationship with you if they're with you, that you're going to constantly be challenging them, that you're going to be pushing them to be better, that you're going to be pushing them to give into passion and romance and to really feel um and so they know that they need to choose that path and they are wanting to be honest with you and to, so we've got truth, clarity, and then we have an open, honest communication message. So that's a really good energy. New love, faded encounter. Ooh. So you might even have new love coming in. That could be what the choose a path is saying. Because I keep getting that for most of the zodiacs that I read, actually, is that there's new love coming in. So you might get some truth from this this X here, and then you might also have new love. So you it might be you that's choosing a path. <clears throat> it's like one person's afraid of commitment still, and then one person's like, well, I feel like this could be the same person. It's like they've been afraid of commitment, but they want to be loyal and stable and like make these promises to you. They want to get past this energy. Show me the new love. Just a few cards really quick for the new love. God, stubbornness. See, vulnerability, receptivity. It's like they're... I almost feel like you're the stubborn one. And it's like they're... This ex, I think, when you've been stubborn... This might just be a message for a specific person. But I feel like with the ex, when you're stubborn, um, they just kind of you know, it's like this power struggle. But with this person, I think they're going to be vulnerable with you consistently. So it's like, I almost feel like, oh, it's like my cute little monster. Like you're like PMSing or something and this other person couldn't handle that and this new person is like going to get you cake or something. Does that make sense? I know that sounds weird, but it's just like they're going to handle your stubbornness and your feistiness in a different way, basically. Yeah, the ex is missing you. Ex is trying to manifest you back to life, into his, into his or her life. Can you show me the new person, though? Finances, career. I don't think it's going to tell me too much about the new person because I think it just kind of wants to leave it with, you know, you have a, 
you'll ha you'll have a choice to make here. Um, yeah, I, I hope that resonates. Um, and I do have reading specials going on. My contact info is below. And if this resonates, go ahead and subscribe and like and share. Thanks for watching.